What do you think about the way that, um, again, this was a, a night where there were 30 assists and all of the starters were in double-digit scoring. Are you sensing a change in, in the way that guys are finding a flow in the offense? Oh, for sure. Uh, we're flowing better. The chemistry is building, and it's starting to look good. You know, even, you know, the second unit that, that comes in, you know, they come to give us a good push, you know, and they put us in great position. Uh, I do. How, how proud are you to become a defensive stalwart for this team and being the guy that Steve calls to take on basketball Siakam for the last possession of the game? Um, You know, I embrace it. I embrace it as a competitor, um, taking on, you know, the other team's best player. You know, just trying to be aggressive, trying to, you know, shut them out and make it difficult for them. You know, the good players are going to make tough shots, you know, but if I can just stay on them, stay aggressive, and just try to make it tough, I'm doing my job. And after all these years of hearing about your scoring ability and that you're only a scorer and those things, what's it like to hear people constantly praising your defense? Oh, uh, you know, I feel like I always play good defense. I just feel like here the culture is different. You know, here everything is different, especially with the guys I have behind me. You know, it's, it's not just me out there on defense. You know, we got Draymond, we got Steph, we got Kelly doing a hell of a job. You know, the, the guys behind me, I know they got my back. Uh, and it's, it's great here. It's great. Find yourself. Um, I'm playing with a uh, you know defensive player of the year, you know Draymond. You know he's out there, he's vocal. You know he helps out a lot on defense, um, giving us advice. You know just showing us certain things, and you know we got you know the rook down there, James. You know trying to clean stuff up. Um, so it's been good. And what does it mean? What does it mean to you to become the Canadian-born player with most points in the NBA? Um, you know, it's an honor. You know, I I play, you know, for my country. You know, I'm from there, like you said, born and raised and everything I do, I'm Canadian. You know, so I embrace it, you know, and hopefully we can keep it going. You know, we have a lot of good players, you know, in the league, you know, and a lot of up-and-coming up players. So hopefully we can keep it rolling. Andrew, I don't want to belabor the points, but would you say this is the happiest you've been in your career? Um, for sure. For sure, you know, <clears throat> we're winning, you know, everyone's happy, we're getting after it, and I feel like we're only getting better. You know, we have so much room to grow. Um, so by the end of it, the end result, I feel like we're going to be great. And you know, right now we don't have Clay. Uh, so with Clay, when he comes back, that's going to be a scary sight. <laughs> so we just got to keep it going. What's your biggest impact of uh, Draymond Green, Draymond Green your, to your game? And also, mm -hmm. how, what it means for you, this performance tonight? How comfortable do you feel on the court right now? Um, the thing about Draymond is he's everywhere. You know, he's all over the floor, whether he's guarding the ball, off ball, getting the charge, getting the steal, block. He's everywhere. He's very vocal. You know, he's going to tell you where everybody is. And he's like a teacher on the court also. You know, a very smart, very high IQ player. And, you know, he's going to teach you. He's going to show you. <clears throat> he's going to yell at you. His intensity is high. And I feel like he brings up the best in everybody. Hey, Kyle with Tom Four. Um, there was a lot of talk when you showed up to training camp just about, Andrew, about all of the muscle you put out in the off season, And I know you put in a lot of work. How do you feel like that has impacted your play this season? And do you think that has contributed to the high level of defense you're playing right now? Uh, I put in, you know, a few pounds, you know, just I can guard bigger guys, <clears throat> smaller guys, just, you know, being able to mix it up. But it wasn't, you know, nothing too crazy, but enough, uh, you know, to help my game. Uh, take us to the last possession, Andrew, because we saw you switching sides three times, low gravity center, and contested with the left hand, which was the right one. What are you looking at on Pascal? What are your reference points on defense that make you react that way? Um, it's just, you know, reaction. You know, I don't really <clears throat> predetermine how I'm going to play defense on him. <clears throat> you know, he's a really good player. 
You know, there's a lot of stuff to his game. So I was just trying to make it hard on him. Um, pressure him a little bit, but he's coming at you full speed, so you had to had to be careful. Um, but just trying to dig down deep, you know, stay low and try and get the stop. You know, try and contest. You know, he's a he's tall, he's long. I knew I wasn't gonna block his shot. You know, to end the game, but I just try to make it hard, trying to get a good contest just to bother him a little bit. Are you guys getting more comfortable in situations where they trap Steph and you know he kind of throws it on the backside? Those like four on three scramble situations. Yeah, you know we're getting more comfortable. You know every game is getting better. Um, cause he, like like you said, you know he causes a lot of attention. You know he he trusts us. You know when he passes the ball to make the right play, and I feel like we're getting better at it. Did, did you know it was this much attention what he does to the defense and and how it kind of changes the court? Um, I I feel like I haven't noticed it. <clears throat> you know till I got on this team, but. It's crazy whether he has the ball or he's off ball, you know, just the team's focus on him is crazy. Uh, you talk a lot about Draymond's impact on your defense. Can you give us a specific point where Ron Adams has improved your defense? Um, I've just been getting after it. You know, when, when I first got here, um, they had told me to, you know, pressure. Uh, you know, if my man brings up, brings the ball up the court, don't make it easy. Get up on him, pressure him full court. You know, that's what I've been doing, just trying to turn guys, make it hard for him. You know, wear him out, get him tired. What is the main difference between the between now and the couple, the first uh, two games of the season? Um, you know, we're getting more comfortable. We're getting more comfortable in our positions, um, playing together. The chemistry is building. And, you know, we're getting after on both sides of the floor.